All right, guys, today I got a quick, cheap, easy fix to uh, make the in-filter, which is this piece right here, look a little bit more accurate. Um, you can see the white dots coming through on mine. That's the way I've had mine for years. I'm gonna make it a little bit more accurate with kind of a white mesh and a gray background. So, let me flip this over real quick. I'll show you the stuff that I used. Okay, so originally, I just have a white note card flipped over and then taped in there with uh, painter's tape. And that's what would show through for the white there. Um, got this idea of using this white mesh that comes on the back of a gutter filter that you can get for two dollars at Home Depot and only ended up cutting off from here to the end and didn't even use that much and then I ended up wrapping that around some leftover insulation tubing the same stuff that I used for the neck foam so I had a lot of that left over and uh, show you what I made I made this Kind of measured it out to see what would fit in the, the gap right there in the hole. And uh, doubled it over a few times to make the right size with the neck foam. Gets the gray color underneath. You've got the white color mesh on the outside. And then, of course, I'm going to get it where it doesn't fold over. Just push it down there. It should fit snug since it's got that foam in there. It's going to want to push outward. Ended up using some zip ties on there just to hold it in place. Let's see what it looks like if I flip it back over. Nick foam's in the way. Hang on. Let's get you out of the way. And that's more the look that I'm looking for. So I'll fine tune it, slide it back in there. But the neck foam is like two bucks. The filter for the gutter is like two dollars, so like four dollars and some zip ties uh, and just a little cut new measuring. Um, makes a quick little fix right there and uh, makes things look a little more accurate um, or realistic at least. So use that if you'd like and um, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.